Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we did we worked with the FAST ICA or the Independent Component Analysis Blind uh, Source Separation. In this tutorial, we're going to be using uh, ICA, uh, but not through a scale learn, but using the J algorithm. As you remember, I mentioned about three algorithms that are very uh, known for ICA. One of them was Jade, one of them was Sobi, Sobi or Sobi, and the other one was Fast ICA. Today we're going to be using Jade. And um, it's through the Shogun library that I hope you have installed and ready to go. So let's get started. As you remember, when you downloaded uh, the Shogun uh, you downloaded uh, two of two files. There's three files here. There's one with the Shogun, the directory where all where, where the configuration was and all the that you that we did, you know, configure to make sure that it's built correctly. And there was another one. It's called the Shogun data, where it has all the data the phases for all of the uh, uh, examples and this is the Shogun install you might I, you might have this or you might not have it I think you might have it if uh, you might not have it in the same s place that I have it but these are the last three the, that you should have but it, I included in this um, ICA data as you can see is the ICA independent component analysis the ICA some of this stuff you're not going to have in there. I'm going to show you how to get it. Uh, so Because in order to do machine learning, you need data sets. You actually need data. Shogun has already data for you ready to go, but I'm going to show you how to get it from scratch and how to pre-process it so you, are re you know how to do it for your own uh, application. Okay, because sometimes some of these machine learning libraries they they do your, the the work so easy for you that you don't know what how to work with data that you actually that is data different to the one that they that they're giving you. So I'm trying to show you how to you get your own data and how do you pre-process it and then use the machine learning libraries. Okay, but uh, you need to I I'm gonna be using three MP3 snippets of music of uh, through this website. This is a website I think is out of the UK and uh, it's free. You know, it's that you can download music for free here as long as you give them a, a, a real uh, email address and verify that you're a human and not an Android. And uh, I'm download, I downloaded three pieces of music. I downloaded uh, more or less, I tried to, cap, to keep the duration as close as possible. So I didn't want to download something that is 151.94 seconds and then 8.5. I tried to more or less keep them, uh, you know, as close as possible to for com adding consistency to the to the tutorial. Okay, so I didn't want to just wait while the other track finishes. But it's up to you. Okay, once you download them, the way I did it, I downloaded them and I, inst I, I put them in the Shogun data uh, ICA just to, to have all the data in there. That's just, it's just me. You can, as long as you tell Shogun where to find or uh, the data or the MP3, it doesn't matter where you put it. I just put it there so I know if I'm working with Shogun, I, I will put all the data sets right here. If it's ICA, I will put them here. If it's uh, AT&T data sets, like uh, then I put them here. You know, it's just it's just the way uh, I'm doing it. But you don't have to. It's up to you. Okay. So you get the three downloads, and you're going to get three downloads that look like that. You're gonna be an MP3, and then it's gonna be an MP3, and then it's gonna be an MP3. Okay. But uh, let me. You cannot do much with MP3s. You need WAV files. So I'm going to show you how to how to get WAV files. Let me let me get rid of them so I show you from scratch how to do it. And the on, the way to do it, uh, what I usually use for these, I mean, there are many ways to 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 convert from MP3 to WAV. Uh, I use Audacity. It's this program right here. Uh, all you, if you want to just 
you can get a binary from Ubuntu, or if you want something that is more recent, all you need to do is add the PPA, uh, the Audacity PPA. Actually, let me show you where to get it, just in case you don't have it. A lot of people have it already. A lot of people know Audacity. Uh, PPA, Audacity. And this, this one. And all you need to do is take this, okay, and open a, a, a terminal. And 12. Let me use, I'm using that one already for a, let me open another terminal. And all you need to do is sudo at app repository ppa audacity team daily hit enter i'm not going to hit enter because i already have and once you hit enter it's gonna you do sudo app get update after you hit enter just go sudo apt get update and hit enter and then it should uh, take care of it then you could go here, find it here, find the audacity, and it's gonna be there, and then you you put it on your launcher if you want, and and you have it all ready to go. Okay, so that's how you get audacity. Okay, so let's start from scratch here. Let's go back to where we were. So now we're here, and now we're we have to convert that mp3 those three mp3s into WAV files so we can work with them okay so all you need to do is you open with audacity and it's going to open and it's going to show you the waves here it's going to show you the actual you can actually play it okay if you want to play it and also once you you have it you know that that's the one that you want to work with all you do is file export and then it's, you, it's going to ask you where you want to save it i'm going to save it uh Chogun data ica directory just save and say it okay and as you can see it created the WAV file. Okay, we do that for the next two, two of them. Let me let's do it from from scratch, uh, so you know how to do it. All you do is open with Audacity. That's the other MP3, and then so that's the one now export uh, it's a little bit save yes okay and it's going to be created and as you can see it's being cre it was created right here okay so let's one third time we're going to do it for this one we're going to do it open with audacity because there's three signals that I'm using so let's see Okay, so that's the one. So file, export, audio, save. Okay, and now as you can see, it's being created right here. Okay, now you can close Audacity, you don't need it anymore. So now that you have your WAV files, that these are the ones that you need. You don't need the MP3s anymore unless you want to listen to some good music. And then you go into your uh, into the actual folder that you're working in. In my case, I'm working on a YouTube, and it's this one here. And I have the IPython already open here. Okay, like uh, like I mentioned to you, I'm using Shogun. And if you do not, let me show you, we don't need this anymore. Shogun toolbox.org. 
and they have very good documentation and you can come here to for any examples that you want. I'm using this one right here and like I said I'm using Jade this is one of the algorithms so this is where it's coming from but I'm not using their their uh, their WAV files I'm using my own but just in case this is where this is coming from so you know where it's coming from so let's get back in here and as you can see this is in order to do to play the wave player the wave uh, player it's a very nice uh, you can use it actually for actually for other other things also uh, it's loading the wave right here as you can see the sample rate is 44 one 44 thousand one hundred as you can see it's the same one from audacity I don't know if you realize that but it's the same one as you can see it here 44 100 it's the same one okay so you're using the same sample rate and it shows you you know the, the sample rate the flow the data the returning it or it's an MPN 16 and uh, this is the the, uh, the wave player for for IPython so it looks nice and it's showing you the audio controls because it's actually using HTML I think HTML5 yeah HTML5 so you need to make sure that you have these uh, the uh, appropriate dependencies uh, uh, in your system it should do it with IPython with the, a recent version in order to to include this in the IPython and then tell it where the data is this is the folder that I show you where I put all the the independent component analysis uh, images and uh, and, and uh, um, the mp3s here is importing PyLab is is uh, plotting in line so you see the the actual thing inside let's do it together let's do shift enter shift enter shift enter it's gonna find it now so go shift enter and it's st st still thinking here as you can see and it shows this signal it's, it might do this it's not understood if it does that it gives you the warning just do it again one one second time and it should go away okay and then you're gonna have a nice signal here for the first one and you can play it and as you can see and then do the same for the second one uh, it's that one right here and it's gonna be the same signal you can play it Okay, and do it for this third one. And as you can see, there's three complete different signals. They're completely separate, just like we did in the last tutorial. Now we're going to mix them. And this is where the mixing, the mixing matrix that we did in the last tutorial okay it's the same th is he's he, here they're resizing it make sure that you do this in uh, if you don't do this from from Shogun they don't have it there so you, I was getting an error you can see it doesn't have it here so if it's giving you an error do this and it should go away just put ref check equals false ref check equals false ref check equals false that way it doesn't give you the error because for some reason you're it's an array referencing another array and in my system it was giving me an error it might, it might be different for you but this is how I solve the, the problem and here is printing the the uh, the mixing matrix is doing the dot product like just like we did in the other uh, like we did in the other tutorial and here is plotting okay so it's gonna plot it's gonna do the for all three 
And as you can see, that's the mix, mixing matrix, just like last time, and these mixed signals. This is the the signals that, that they had that we had before in the last tutorial. As you can see, they're similar, but they're different. Okay, they're not they're 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 they, you can see that is all three signals being played. Okay, all three of them. And uh, once you do that, here this might crash your system right here, and you might have to go go around and do it all over again. But that's okay. Just and it didn't crash. It didn't crash my server, so that's good. And now you're ready to use Jade. This is the out of the three algorithms. Remember, is it was the fast ICA that we used in the first tutorial. Now we're gonna be using Jade. Okay, it's, it's based on on the work of Cardoso and Solomiak, and this one was done by these guys. Okay, so this this is uh, the other one. Where is it here? So we're using Jade. The Jade function from from uh, as you can see, we're importing it from Chogun, and it's it's it's, uh, it's getting the estimated what it. It, it can separate out of. You can play with the gain here. You can put it, I changed this. This is different from, from the one that they gave. I think they had 4,000 here. You can change, uh, depending on your application. I mean, this code, you can tweak it to whatever you want to, uh, to you know, whatever application that you're working with. Uh, you can play with these numbers and, uh, uh, you know, they might be different for you. You might be using different gains. You might be using different, different uh, numbers altogether. So it's up to you. And let's just hit enter. And it might crash the service, the server, and it didn't crash it. So it's good. And as you can see, it got the three images back. And if you play them, you're gonna see that is back to the original again. Okay. But uh, it's, a, it's a very nice, uh, uh, handy uh, uh, visualization. You can actually see the, the 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 separation, the mixing going on, and uh, and this is the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be doing images. We already did uh, generated data. We use MP3 data music, mp3 music, converting into WAV files. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to go into two dimensions and use uh, actual uh, images. Okay, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.